What's up guys, Infernape here, and welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. Not gonna lie, I've forgotten what part we're on, so I'm just gonna say the next part of my Pokemon playthrough. <laughs> Be sure or, or to answer the comment question and below that I put in the description. Um, ooh, I think the comment question will be, what is your favourite starter type and why? Okay, now to give you a quick recap of the team in case you have forgotten what is on my team. We have Fearow, level 31, with the moves Aerial Ace, Return, Fly and Pursuit. We've got Heracross at level 29, with Brick Break, Shadow Claw, Horn Attack and Aerial Ace. We've got Ampharos with Tackle, Charge, Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave. We have Myquilava, which has the moves Headbutt, Flame Wheel, Swift and Lava Plume. We have Umbreon we're at level 29, and it knows the moves Payback, Confuse Ray, Quick Attack, and Bite. And finally, we have Lapras at level 30, with the moves Surf, Ice Shard, Confuse Ray, and Body Slam. Okay, I'm not- oh, uh, my, some of my po- oh, come on, aren't, don't have the best movesets in the world. But I still all, all think they're quite strong, because as they do- they're quite high levels. And, and we also own oh, no, some decent-ish moves. Oh, um, oh, and we're getting a phone call from the Safari guy. Oh, hi, Robert. This is Warden Bayoba. I, I still don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Sorry to have kept you oh, waiting. We finally opened the Safari Zone. Do you know where it is? Yes. Yes, I do. You know, oh, the gate inside the cavern in Seamwood City? If you go, oh, there uh, and walk for a short while, you should uh, soon and see the Safari Zone. We're a little out of the way, but please come visit. Oh yeah, sorry if you heard my phone in the background. I was just uh, got a, a message for, on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend you should. I uh, my account name is Robert underscore the underscore Infernape. I know that's not the most like it's not the best name in the world, but it's the best I can come up with. All right, in the last video, we um, challenged Chuck and and got the our fifth gym badge. And we also got the medicine and for all and for Aros, and that uh, way you can uh, like gain all his health back. And now we're going to go challenge uh, Jasmine. That's her name. Sorry, I, I can't believe I forgot her name for a minute. All right, I'm definitely going to put Quilava in front, and I'm also oh, going to be using these three Pokemon in case Quilava has an accident. Not very likely. All right, I'm going to be using Quilava, Heracross, and Lapras for this one. Lapras is because, well, Steelix is part ground type. This isn't a gym trainer, by the way. He just uh, gives you constructive criticism. And there's another one. I never understood uh, why I, this gym never actually has any proper gym trainers. Like, you would have thought a gym would have actual gym trainers. <clears throat> this is going to uh, be interesting. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Clang Steel type. Do you know about the Steel type? Yes. Yes, I do. They are very hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Cold and sharp and really strong. Um, I'm not lying. Well, we'll soon see. Okay, now it's time for all our gym battle against Jasmine. She uses as um, three Pokemon, two Magnemite and a Steelix. Very original. I know. Okay, let's uh, start things off with a Flame Wheel. Also, guys, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you're enjoying this series. I'm actually th thinking about uh, when this series is finished, I'm actually thinking about uh, doing a Nuzlocke. If you want me to do a Nuzlocke, let me know down in the comment section below. And what game you want me to do a Nuzlocke of? Because I, I can think of quite a few games that I would love to do a Nuzlocke on. Alright, there's Steelix. Let's go with another Flame Wheel. I doubt Al to, it's going to do anything. Yep, didn't do much. That's because our Steelix's physical defense is super high. Okay, let's go with Lava Plume. It's going, it's going, and it's gone. 
Oh yeah, guys, believe it or not, I'm actually I'm going to uh, start selling in some of my stuff, so that oh, way I can actually afford better YouTube equipment. Oh, and for some, <laughs> we're, we're going to get a Typhlosion at the end of this gym battle. So now, as I was saying, I was, I'm actually uh, going to sell some of my stuff, so that way I can get better uh, recording equipment. And, th and I could uh, make even better YouTube videos. I actually had my eyes on some uh, uh, second-hand uh, iMac, actually. So that, uh, that way I can make proper uh, gameplay videos. Like, I thought, oh, that would help, help increase my publicity a little bit. And not only did we uh, just get that gym badge with ease, we're about to go get a Typhlosion. Okay, bring on the Typhlosion! Oh yes, time to take a trip down memory lane. If you didn't already know, the first Pokemon I ever called my own was a Cyndaquil, and eventually it evolved into this bad boy, my Typhlosion. Welcome to the team, Typhlosion. Okay. You're a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. Not sure about the kindness part, but we'll go with it. And according and with the league rules, I confer upon you this badge. Alright, we've got the mineral badge from Jasmine. Only two more left to go. With that badge, all Pokemon, including traded Pokemon, up to level 70 will obey you without question. Um, please take this too. And there's the TM for Iron Tail. And I know exactly who I'm going to teach this uh, move to. It is called Iron Tail. Your Pokemon I will hit the target it with its really hard tail, occasionally lowering its target's defense. And I'm also going to teach Iron Tail to one of my Pokemon, believe it or not. Let's find it. Ah, there it is. I'm actually going to go teach Iron Tail to my Umbreon. It's lacking in some decent moves, so I thought Iron Tail would do it good. Okay, I think I'll get rid of Quick Attack, so that way Umbreon has Iron Tail. Oh yeah, guys, I actually, um, um, I've actually been using this app quite uh, a lot called Creator P. I have talked about it a little bit beforehand, but now I really, really uh, love it because, funny enough, I actually managed to, um, oh, I managed to get unlimited coins for just. Ten pounds, and now I can and you use the app as many times as I wish. So I highly recommend that you go check it out. If you don't know what it is already, it's basically where you get to create your own Pokemon in the app and put it in a game, and all they ask for in return is a level all all um, a one to uh, nine Caterpie. I mean, you can uh, put in a level ten, but nothing higher than that. So I highly recommend you go download the app as soon as you can. Okay, for the rest of uh, for uh, the montage of this video, I'm not the montage. For the rest, uh, for the majority of this video, I'm gonna uh, head over to the um, Safari Zone because in between the Safari Zone, there are actually some decent and e level trainers. So I'm actually uh, going to take this chance of a well, I'm going to take this opportunity so that way I can level up some of my Pokemon a little bit because some of them um, are a little under leveled and could use a little bit of leveling up. Alright, let's head to Seanwood City. And there we are. Let's see who I should put in front. I know Umbreon's in front. Let's have a look at its experience and how close it is from, to leveling up. Both Heracross and, and Umbreon are close to leveling up. So I'll keep both of them in the first two slots. So that our way they, they can get some decent um, experience if they were ever in a double battle. Also, guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you want me to do like a game uh, playthroughs of other Pokemon games. I've, I've actually been uh, thinking about maybe I should uh, like do these more often because I definitely think that this could uh, really help expand my horizons a little bit. You know, like I just, other uh, than just doing like top tens, music videos, and stuff I usually do, this is something a little bit different, and I I definitely think it could uh, be quite a gold mine. So be sure to let me know uh, down in the comment section below if you want me to uh, keep doing these and and um, what Pokemon games you want me to do in the future. Okay, let's go uh, at this Dunsparce with a bite attack. 
Ooh, that's actually decent. I'll wrap it up with an iron tail. Oh, that's the floor about iron tail. Sometimes it can miss. Let's go with another iron tail. There's a very high chance of, of um, iron tail to miss. Oh, the bad idea using glare because now synchronizers are going to activate and, and now you're beginning to come paralyzed. Yeah, as I was saying, like. Iron Tail can and be quite a drag when it comes um, to its accuracy, but when it comes to power, it is quite a powerful move. So, I definitely think it, and it could be quite it's a decent move to have on my Umbreon, considering and that it can't learn and too many uh, great uh, fit actual attacking moves. But, uh, so I'm definitely eager to uh, give it uh, some better uh, moves the further we go along. Using defense curl, are we? Okay, that's going to be a bit of a nuisance. Oh, defense curl again. De Jesus Christ, mate. Okay, I'm probably going to full heal this thing because this paralysis is starting to annoy me a little bit. Okay, there you are. There we go. What are you going to do next? Roll out. Oh, that moves a pain. Especially if you're Whitney's Mill Tank. <laughs> Even though I defeated Whitney's Mill Tank with very little effort. <laughs> Probably because my I looking back, my Heracross was quite powerful. Yeah, probably overleveled it slightly. Okay, just going to spam Bite until it dies. <laughs> and glare mist. And that's a GG for that dunce boss. And it's gonna, that guy's going to have one more dunce boss in its party. And since Umbreon just went to level 30, I'll switch out for Heracross so that way it can gain some decent experience. Alright, Heracross. Uh, definitely not going to uh, level up in this battle, but... In the next few battles, maybe. Okay, brick break. Game, set, match. Ah, oh, it's just, I'm so have I'm just having so much fun on going through this game because I thoroughly enjoy playing a Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Like these games were my childhood. I'm not sure if you guys understand this. Like these games were my actual childhood. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. On the, my poke gear. Oh, hey, good afternoon. What's up? This is Liz. Listen, listen. Have you ever uh, taken part in a bug catching contest at the national park? I have, but n not in this playthrough. I did once, but all I could catch was a caterpie. Well, wow, that's actually pretty pathetic, not gonna lie. But guess what? I won with that caterpie. Isn't that great? Okay, I'll call you later. Okay, I probably spoke too soon there, because she actually won with a Caterpie. Well, either that, or the uh, other people that caught a Pokemon had really, really crap Pokemon. Okay, now I'm going to uh, switch out Umbreon with Heracross. Okay, now let's go challenge this little dude. I'm not all good with large crowds, so I'm camping out here with my Pokemon. Are you the same way? Definitely not. I hate camping. I'm sorry if you guys are a big fan of camping, but camping is not for me. Skip plume, eh? Well, this isn't going to be a problem for me. Aerial Ace. Uh, I'm, I feel like I, my Pokemon may be a little bit too powerful. Either that or I just pick like the perfect Pokemon to use in this playthrough. Meryl. Okay. Let's stick with the Heracross. And... Brick, brick. Goodbye, Meryl. <laughs> Still, I definitely think that uh, with this playthrough, I'm using some of uh, my favourite uh, Pokemon. Well, that's what I tend to do. I like I to use uh, some of my favourite Pokemon when and do, using a playthrough, but I don't mind um, using Pokemon I've never used before, so that way maybe I grow to like them. But still, I'm not 
Uh, there are certain Pokemon that I will never, ever use, so... Yeah. Uh, let's keep Heracross in for the time being. A revive. That's always handy to have. Okay, let's head back up here. We all know which way A goes where. Okay. These two trainers out here are going to be using Electabuzz and Magmar. So for that reason, I'm going to be using Lapras and... Hmm. I'll stick Umbreon on, on in. Alright, what's the harm? Oh. I have to be directly in front of them in order for them to see me. Right. That's a bit absurd. One plus one is two. Congratulations, you passed basic math. Okay, let's get this over with. Nice and quick. Let's see. Electabuzz and Magma. Level 25. Jeez, wasn't expecting it to be that strong. Okay, let's use Surf. And I'll have Umbreon use Bite on Electabuzz. And of course Magmar uses Protect. I forgot it had Protect. Thunderbolt, that... Oh, I'm surprised it, it didn't go for the Lapras. Why did it go for Umbreon? Alright, Umbreon uses Bite. Oh, okay. Well, at least Electabuzz is gone. All we got are letters of uh, magma that is literally the least of our worries. Okay, now I'll use another surf and I'll go with payback. Bad idea you using protect twice in a row. And let's see if that kills you. Oh, funny enough, it does. I'm bringing on OP. Okay, I gotta say, I asked her to get this battle with over nice and quick, and I did. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah, Umbreon could use a little bit of healing up, so let's head over here. Let's use a super potion. There we go, all, f all fully healed. I think I'll keep Lapras in for the time being, because I want to get it to level 32, so that way it can and learn Ice Beam. Okay. Let's get that item. The Lagging Tail. Literally the uh, one of the most useless items in the whole game. Like, you can't you use it... Oh. You can't you use it in a... A playthrough, and it's not that good a competitive either. Ugh, don't talk about love, please. I'm over love right now. Yeah, I actually um, broke up with my girlfriend, so I'm literally past love right now. I just don't want to talk about love. It's just not for me right now. Okay, let's go with Ice Shards on Onyx. And Bite on Cloyster. Alright, let's see what that does. Should do some decent damage. Uh, I mean, I know Ice Shard isn't that powerful, but I was expecting it to do a little bit more than Onyx since it is four times weak against it. Oh, well, Sandstorm's going to be interesting. And what are you going to do, Cloyster? Aurora Beam. Hmm, fair play. Okay, this is definitely going to be very interesting. Okay. I shard and payback. Oh, I'm not going to lie, guys. The weather out outside right now, it's absolutely dreadful. If you can't tell by the accent, I'm from the UK... London, England. So, we're well known for two things. Fish and chips and bad weather. Gotta say, the fish and chips over here is actually really, really good. If you're not from England. 
Ah, uh, like still, I was expecting it to be a little bit nicer. Like, yes, I know it's autumn and then the weather isn't supposed to be nice, especially over in the UK. But I was expecting it to, uh, uh, the sun to come out. Like literally, it's overcast. I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, overcast is my preferred uh, like, like weather, but I would have thought it'd be brightened up a little bit. Uh, and Cloyster isn't dead. Oh, let's get this over with. Body slam. And bite. So long, Cloyster. Oh, this is... Oh, I love her, uh, level, I went to level all 31. Awesome. Okay. Oh, let's get away from those two, like... I, I'm not a big fan of love right now. Okay. And we made it to Route 48. And now, we're at the Safari Zone gate. But literally, I'm just going to leave even as soon as I heal up my Pokemon. Because I'm not really here to capture any new ones. Like I think Ink, that Atom, the Pokemon that I have with me now, they're going to be either ones that I, I use to take down the Pokemon League. So I think I'll stick with what I've got. Okay, all healed up, and we're actually now going to uh, uh, make quite a for our next destination, which is Mahogany Town. And I'm definitely going to keep Lapras in front, because I definitely need it to learn Ice Beam. That way it can help me out whenever I face Claire. Okay, back to critique. Let's hope I don't need Strength, because... Oh, I hate uh, using ing, uh, HMs. I, I'm definitely going to have to ooh, find a HM slave. So that uh, way uh, I can earn new strength and such. Uh, maybe I'll get a rat, okay? At least that way I can uh, learn most of the HMs in this game. Alright, now we're at Mount Mortar. Original. Oh, uh, like, who actually came up, up with that? Like... It sounds like Magmortar. Not gonna lie. Okay, run away. I don't need time for a Rattata. Oh yeah, do I have any, any repels? Oh, let's see. Do I have any repels? Yes, I do. Not many though, but it should be enough to uh, get me from one trainer to the next. Okay. Let's head over here, and I know oh, that there's a trainer over here. Oh, did I already face this guy? Huh. I guess I must have faced him already. Can't remember uh, challenging him, though. Not gonna lie, I've, I do not remember challenging him. Hold on, let me see. Have I already been here? I don't remember uh, coming here in my playthroughs. Maybe it was for um, off-screen grinding? But I honestly don't not remember uh, um, coming here. I must have came here uh, for off-screen grinding, but... Wow. Okay. Did I face these guys too? Oh, must have done. Bloody hell, I was hoping to get uh, some decent uh, some battles in. Huh. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Could be a uh, decent, could be crap. You never know with this game. Sup? This is, is Huey. How, how are you? How are your Pokemon doing? My eye are a bit too energetic. Poliwag especially. Every time it spots a trainer, it just wants to char uh, just charge its head into battle. It gets uh, to be a bit too much for me. Later. What was the point of that phone call? Like, honestly, what is the point of calling and, and, and people when you don't want to challenge him to a battle? Like, I honestly do not get the point. Like, some of the ESP people give out items that some of them and want to rematch, but that uh, doesn't uh, usually happen until, oh, like, late game. Uh, I don't get the point of, of that. Like, what were you thinking, Game Freak? Oh wait, I don't need to heal up my Pokemon. What am I doing? I haven't been in a single battle. 
Oh god, the heat's getting to me. Like it is actually really warm in this house. Not gonna lie. Okay, I guess now we'll have to go over and face the red Gyarados. Do I ha have some Pokeballs on me? Yes, I have a few. That should get me by. Okay. Let's head over here so that way I can and, and see if I can get to the red Gyarados. Well, it's a good thing I haven't faced you yet. Okay. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah, you've got a Sand Shrew, I remember that. I think he also has a Sand Slash? Could be misremembering. Let's hope he can give me some decent experience points, that way Lapras can get a little bit closer to um, level 32. Okay, let's see what we got. Now that's what I'm talking about. Bye, Sand Shrew. Uh, I sounded like um, that at um, guy from the original Pokemon anime, that guy that had the Sand Shrew and won a hundred times using only his Sand Shrew. Uh, that's a uh, flash ashback. <laughs> oh god, I'm old. Like I honestly feel like I'm old. I mean, yes, the first time I ever uh, watched the Pokemon anime, what are as uh, Generation Four? But I, I honestly feel like I'm older than I am I'm now. Like I'm 19, but I feel older. It's probably because of all my I friend and that um I usually they talk to. Yeah, they a are a bit younger than me, and they're still in college. So I guess that's why I feel uh, older than I already am. I don't know, <laughs> or it could just all be in my head. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add another Max Repel. Whoops. Oh, there's Giraffe Egg. Don't need to battle that because it doesn't give out, out much experience points at all. Okay, let's uh, slap on another Max Repel. If only Chansey were in this game, that way I can get some decent experience in. But unfortunately, it only it appears on, on one little route, and it's in, in the Kanto region. Like, what? Oh, that makes no bloody sense. So literally, the only way to actually grind in this game is to just start battling loads of wild Pokemon. Like, literally every wild Pokemon that you come across, you battle it and hope it gives out decent experience. That's literally what I did uh, to grind level levels for some of my I, party members. It wasn't fun. Not going to lie. Okay. Oh. Yeah, might as well get her uh, phone number. Wait for the jingle. Da, 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 da. I love that jingle. Like, I wish I could set uh, that at to uh, my ringtone. So that way, every time I get a text... That just goes off. Like, I would be set for life if that actually, if I could actually do that. Okay, need arena. They uh, need arena and need arena do give out uh, some decent ish experience points. So let's hope that they can give me uh, something decent. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. Could be better. But it could be worse. Okay, time I to face this other, other um, uh, well, not other, I need arena. <laughs> oh, I need to go to sleep. Like, I d literally just got a new sofa fitted into my house. And I have had a bit of a nap on it and I'm still a little groggy. Ugh. Yeah, I think I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Actually, a better question is, what isn't wrong with me? <laughs> oh, another phone oh, number uh, going to be added. Wait for the ringtone. Love it. Uh, 
you know, oh what, I I haven't done something for a little while, but let me get that item first. It's something and I have been wanting to do for a while that I haven't that I haven't done um, for a little while, so I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Uh, I just uh I want wanted to do that. That's an, just uh bringing it back. Oh God, I'm sad. I'm so sad. Okay, what do you got? Slow bro. Okay. This is going to be a little bit hard to take down, but I think I can do it. Let's start with the Confuse Ray. Okay. And thank you. You hit yourself in your confusion. That's a good boy. And now, Body Slam. I'm hoping for the Power Fusion here. No power fusion. And you're using Growl. That's going to uh, decrease the power of Body Slam a little bit, but let's hope it's not by much. Uh, could be worse, could be better. Oh! Oh, I thought it was going to knock it out. Let's wrap this thing up with an Ice Shard. Come on, knock it out. Knock it out. Knock it out, and you're gone. That should give us at least some decent experience, and it does. Ooh, we're nearly there, boys and girls. I don't think I have any. A, I don't know if I have any girls subscribed to me, but we're nearly there. Would you get? Oh, I remember this. Um, Sil Ulva was here, and he, he took uh, the uh, mech out of this guy's Pokemon. And I already know what Pokemon it is. Yep, it's the Nido King. Why would you make, make fun of a Nido King? I mean, yes, it, it, it's that your Pokemon is at a pretty low level, but there's nothing wrong with a Nido King. I love Nido King. And you're gone. Get ready, guys. Lapras is now going to learn the move Ice Beam. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ice Beam. Yes, boys. This is going to come in handy eh, for any dragon type types I might encounter. So let's get rid of Ice Shard. Ice Beam is a much better move than Ice Shard. Especially for a Lapras, and, and it's got a better special attack. Well... Yeah, it's a decent Pokemon, but the thing is, yours is at a decent, is at quite a low level. Okay, I think I'm going to switch Ampharos in front because we're going to be facing off the Red Gyarados today, and then I'm going to call it an episode. But after we uh, talk to a familiar face, of course. But first, I'm going to uh, um, save right here just in case I don't catch it in this one turn, even though I'm fairly confident we will. But you, you, you always have to be extra careful when it comes to these things, guys. I don't take risks when it comes to Pokemon. I take this stuff really seriously. I've also actually been anything about doing some shiny hunting. So if you want to do some shiny hunting, let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, I've got my Ampharos in front. Let's go up against Red Gyarados. And... Thank you, Pokemon Company, for just giving us a shiny Pokemon for us to catch. I highly appreciate it. Even though we didn't really accomplish anything. I mean, yeah, it's a free shiny. I'm not going to complain, but we didn't put in any work. Let's start things off with one quick ball. See if that does anything. Alright. Ah, didn't do a goddamn thing. Alright, guess we're gonna have to ooh, fight it after all. But I'm not gonna be fighting it here with Ampharos because it'll just kill it. Although I could just spam Tackle. Alright, but first I'm gonna be using Thunder Wave. Leer. That might come, handy, come in handy for him anyway. 
but a thunder wave will definitely help me out a lot, and it, it, it um, increases the chances of me capturing it. Alright, let's go with a tackle. Oh, if, this, if we keep this up, we're going to be here all day. I need to move that I can um, take a decent amount out of HP out of it, but can still uh, live. So, what Pokemon can do that? I'll go with... Umbreon. I mean, its bite attack might come in handy. Funny I should say that, because Gyarados apparently knows Bite as well. Okay, let's go with a Bite. Oh, that does a little bit better. Yeah, I think we'll just spam Bite in, uh, until its HP's a little lower. Um, one more Bite should do the trick, then I'll throw a Pokeball at it and see what I can do. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think this definitely a calls for or a ball. So, which one do I use? Um, let's go with a net ball. Why not? Will it work? Yes, it will. We got ourselves the red Gyarados. Whoop, whoop. Okay. And there it is. Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon. They said A that during and past strife, Gyarados would appear and leave blazing ruins in its wake. Probably because it knows flamethrower, but that's besides the point. Yeah, now it's transferred uh, to the PC, and we pick up the red scale. Even though it has no purpose other than to be given away to some guy. Oh, excuse me. To be given away to some guy for or um, an experience share. Okay, let's over head over to Lance and call it an episode. Oh, I want to try and do an impression of Lance, but I'll probably screw it up. But I'm going to try anyway. That red Gyarados wasn't act acting right, as I feared. Some body must have forced us to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Robert? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard uh, some rumblings, so I came in to investigate. I saw uh, the way you battled earlier, Robert. I can and tell you're a skilled old trainer. Uh, you're a, uh, uh, I can tell you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure. Excellent. It seems that uh, the Lake Acre Rage's Magikarp are uh, being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast is coming from Mahogany is... Oh. A mysterious radio broadcast coming in from Mahogany is probably the cause. And that as a spitish souvenir shop. I'll be waiting in for you in Mahogany Town, Robert. Okay, I'm going to fly over to Mahogany Town and I will call it an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did and be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you are enjoying my I playthrough and if you want me to continue it and if you want me to do like other playthroughs of other Pokemon games or even a Nuzlocke, let me know down in the comment section below. Be sure to answer the comment question in the description. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend and if you're new, subscribe to my channel, it's been Inferno today. Okay, that's all from me, so until the next time, this is Infernape, signing off. Bye!